What's up? So you are caught at work with Kia. Today was another one of those work from home days, so I don't have to sit in traffic forever. Very excited about that. Um, a couple things I wanted to talk about where it's really one big thing that offshoots into a couple of other things. Um, and I wasn't going to say anything about this because it really doesn't affect me. And I don't really I don't care about a lot of stuff, especially like this. It's the whole drama with the Queen's Court. And no, I'm not about to rehash it or give my opinion about that because that part I feel like it, it's, it's done. It's not even that big of a deal. For those of you who don't know, I'm not going into it. Google it. Most of you all should know what happened with the Queen's Court. Fuck it. Fine. Um, so they had Monique on. The Queen's Court is run by T.S. Madison and Kaya. They had Monique on. Had a bunch of technical difficulties. Kaya walked out because she was like, this is janky. I'm not doing it. T.S. Madison still tried to do it. They kind of bickered, you know, on live. And all this was shown and recorded over Monique's Periscope. It was not really shown on the T.S. Madison um, on the Queen Court, Queen's Court side. All right. So that happened. A lot of the vloggers made comments about it. I've never made a comment about it. Don't really care that much. Um, but a lot of vloggers are making comments about it. Uh, um, one with Tasha K. Um, Bondi Blue made a comment about, made a, a video about it. By comment, I mean video. And Funky Danita made a video about it. So everybody's just been making comments. There's been multiple videos made. Even Justin, I think it's Justin J. He made one as well. So fast forward uh, a week later, uh, they didn't have Queens Court on Monday nights like they like they normally do. No big deal. Again, doesn't affect me. I didn't even notice. <laughs> and, but then there's more videos that are now coming back. Like, you know, what's happened to the Queens Court? They're not doing it anymore. Blah blah blah. Kaya puts out a video. Kaya goes kind of off the rails a little bit, in my opinion, going off on everybody and saying how Maddie had all these faggots in her house, which is completely inappropriate. That, that to me, you're already going off and saying crazy shit for no reason. She then starts going off on different vloggers, how, you know, I don't fuck with y'all. I don't know y'all. I don't fuck you. Fuck you. You, you ain't shit. I don't know. Like, it, again, going off crazy. She then specifically goes off on Funky Dineva because she has a relationship outside of the Queen's Court with this person. Um, and Funky Dineva is a, is a very popular vlogger whom I am also a fan of. And she goes off on him and his drug problem and his drug addiction to um, cocaine and how he was doing drugs off the bar. Just, Again, putting everybody business out in the streets. So people are making then people start making videos about that. Um, T.S. Madison comes out to make a video about the whole Queens Court incident. It's fine. It's no big deal. You know, she's just saying we'll handle it. You know, I'm gonna be good. She makes little comments here and there. Nothing major. Funky Dineva comes back. For some reason, he thought it was a good idea because he does get a lot of views when he does these kind of videos, especially when it's it's somebody um, that people can. I guess I want to call it tangible, but he, he made a video about her response to, to what happened and he goes off on her and a lot of it, some of it to me, a lot of it was inappropriate. You know, I mean, I just think some of it was just unnecessary. Like her talking about Kaya's kids. Is that really necessary? And, I, and I'm a fan of Funky Dineva, but you, that's, that's just inappropriate to me. Has it gotten to the point where I'll do anything for views? I'll do anything for clicks? That, that's that's crazy to me. You're talking about this lady's kids and grandchild. Yes, Kai is crazy. Kai, this is not new. Kai has always been crazy. She's always been this and that. Whatever. That's Her fans like it, love it, and want to watch her. Cool. But you going off and bringing up stuff about her kids and dirty this and ain't got no home that. And, and she said the same thing about him. He ain't got no home, can't keep no job. Like These are, these are some real serious things that you really people really shouldn't be talking about on a public forum it's inappropriate so to add salt in an already festering room, uh, wound in the black blogger space here comes um atl and michelle brown now bringing in her situation with funky dineva saying how funky dineva has a drug problem it's not a secret everybody knows about it he messed up my house it was ten thousand dollars he owes me tax information he owes me uh, money um, from a, from a lawsuit we had, it's just now festering into this thing where everybody's saying whatever they can to get more views on YouTube. So are views on YouTube worth more than your self respect? I get it. A lot of you all don't. A lot of the vloggers on YouTube are lucky enough not to have real daytime jobs. Their job, in their mind, is to go on YouTube, make these videos, get a check from YouTube because it, it gets cut every week. Um, or once a month, depending on what set of setup you have. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I know what my clients do when I set them up on YouTube and when I get their stuff going for advertising purpose, but I don't understand how the payments go. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. 
But so you set up your YouTube channel, you talk crap about somebody, you get a check every week, and then you go on about your business. A lot of us aren't that lucky. Like, I'm a YouTuber who does it for fun. I'm, I'm not doing this because I'm trying to be YouTube famous. I'm doing it because I don't get to have a lot of adult conversation because <laughs> I'm a mom. I have a child. Uh, my husband and I talk, uh, but we're very, very busy. I have friends, but all of my friends are professionals and we're always busy. So if I want to talk about something trashy or interesting on my mind, I don't need to. You know, Cotton Car with Kia came from me just wanting to share my opinions online and just have something fun to do on my on my long drive home um community home from work but you know everybody just saying nasty things just for views is, is not a good look especially for black vloggers i mean and there's so many great things going on in the african-american community there's so many cool things going on i mean in the like i said in the in the in the, in the title of this video down here in the age of wakanda are we really doing this <laughs> in the age of black panther in the age of all this black hope on the day the movie is released, this is what this is what we have to go into. Everybody talking nasty to each other. And and everybody's gotten involved with this nastiness. Even in Unwind with Tasha K. For some reason, Tasha K brought on um Kaya's assistant from a couple of years ago, who I guess Kaya said stole money, but she brought him on. It is getting nastier and nastier. And it, it, it that's not a good look for anybody. It's not worth the views. Just being nasty to each other is not worth the views. You know, I, I would rather have my self-respect. And I know everybody's probably going to post. This ain't got nothing to do with you. If you're not a fan, why are you making a comment? I'm making a comment as an African-American professional woman who's looking at other, you know, professionals do crazy shit that later on could come back and bite them in the ass. And that it, it doesn't need to go there. It shouldn't, it, that shouldn't have to happen. You know, we shouldn't be talking about people's kids, drug problems, you know, lawsuits, all that kind of stuff. We've now gone into a real nasty place when... A lot of these African-American bloggers are wildly popular. You know, y'all talk about the reality show people. Y'all talk about rappers and artists and all that. Why are y'all talking about each other? There's no reason for that. There's no reason to hash out the um, the situation between uh, Michelle Brown and, and Funky Dineva. It's not. You know, so let's just cut out the bullshit. Stop talking about each other. Let's hold Queen Court's Queen's Court thing die. And let's move on.